about a month ago, I impulse purchased this 3M projector from eBay, and it's from about 2003. It's a really cool little projector. And I had the idea to modify it to run on LEDs. The bulb still works, but it uses a lot of power. It's like half a kilowatt to run this thing. And so I was thinking, why don't I take the 80 watt power going to the bulb, run into this step down converter, and then step it down to run an LED. So I wanted to do a little bit of homework before I made the video on that. And so I, I wired that up and I connected it at home and it worked. Okay, good. So I can actually, I can think better of how this video is gonna be. And then, you know, I'm glad I did this homework instead of doing it live because things are a little bit harder to deal with when you have an idea of trying to film a video. And it worked. I found it, you had to like disarm a circuit and stuff. It's like, okay, so that way I can look, look a little bit smarter in video. Well, like I know what I'm doing instead of fumbling and I can get more to the point. But the LED was really, really bright. So bright that it was releasing smoke. And I could only run it for about three seconds at a time. And I couldn't adjust the voltage down. For some reason, the voltage output was stuck at 38 volts because this little converter just, it was not, limiting the voltage even though this can handle up to like 130 volts dc and that was an 80 volt power supply so i disconnected it just to see like fine am i just like way too up on the potentiometer because i i kept turning the potentiometer and it just isn't changing the voltage i disconnected the wire so i could see it without load and without worrying of burning this up and pop it just spit all of his guts out filled the living room with smoke and made a little bit, a little burn mark, well, of soot on our brand new couch. It's clean, I, I was able to clean it off, but I had enough. Cause <laughs> Thais was like, what, what, what? And, and, and then I was like, I hate high electricity. This is why I hate this stuff. And the, the output exploded. It's the output capacitor that exploded. So before I film this video, I have to find out a way. Like, what did I, what? I'm glad I bought two, but I'm thinking maybe that power supply isn't limited to 80 volts. It's only 80 volts under load. Maybe put like 160 volts through, which meant that this had a power cascade and it had like 80 volts coming out. I don't know, but it was putting like 150 watts into this LED, which is way too much. I'm still working on cleaning up the Makerspace basement workshop, but uh, I don't feel like cleaning up the table. Instead, let's just get another table. So there's the bulb, very strange looking bulb. I'm sure they are pushing the technology of that type of bulb. I don't know what type it is, but either way, it takes like 250 watts. And I think this thing it usually takes around 400. I can't remember for sure though, but power outlets are here. We have positive and negative. And this little pin pushes in a, uh, a switch. What's interesting is that the lid has a little dimple there, which pushes that further out. So even if you put the, the light in there, it doesn't fully press that switch in. It has to have even that on there and then the thing will turn on. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm probably going to ditch this entire process because now hear me out here. I bet that the power supply has probably 12 volts and 6 volts or whatever going to the main boards and then has like 80 volts that is not as controlled as I thought. It probably 
has voltage that just goes up way too high, like 160 volts. And all it cares about is constant current, not constant voltage. And so this is being way overpowered. And then I'm also thinking that the power supply probably has a sensing circuit in there, which, which, which detects if there's a load on there. And so I'm probably going to just totally bypass the entire circuit like, like that, the, the power supply, and have the, the control board just always think that the bulb's fine. And then just have, instead of dealing with the, the weird 80 volts to 160 volt supply, I'll just, you know, like on the side, is a power switch. So how about whenever I switch it on, the light just automatically turns on. And so I'll have a 120 volts AC to LED, or, or if not, just get an LED that automatically works at 120 volts AC. And then I don't have to worry about having the double transformer, but I'm still curious because the eBay seller offered to give me a refund and I just want to make sure that it isn't this. Positive and negative, and then have these jammed in there as well. So then we can watch what is the voltage and in order to keep this from exploding again, I'm going to solder this on there and desolder that capacitor. Six volts DC. No wonder it's killed it. Oh. No way. That is terrifying. And you can hear it is popping and crackling. Okay, so that's gonna have a rethink of what that video is gonna entail if this is not, <laughs> yeah. Um, I am a little bit surprised. It, I thought I tested it. I thought it was 80 volts. Oh well. I think for, for the video, I'm going to actually work on just bypassing it now, where I bypass that high voltage power supply, I bypass the, the, the output, find, figure out what it, what it requires, then trick it into thinking it's on, and just don't even work with that. Just have the power coming through here to a 120 volt AC LED, which I'll order. And I can use this stuff for something else, but... Um, is a little bit burnt like in there so that's um me going down the wrong path trying to do this video I, you know, I've been thinking about this for years ever since I saw that those LEDs got cheap sometime around 2011 something like that and uh, I'm definitely gonna change uh, to a different course on this because that that is not going to work. That that power supply is just too unpredictable. It does seem like it is a, a constant current power supply instead of a constant voltage power supply. And you hear electric sparks on the inside, so there must be a spark gap that is allowing it, like it's going, it, it's just going up as high as it can until it sparks. Ugh. 